This is on how the workshop will be conducted. This is extremely important. I want you to listen to this um, uh, tutorial very carefully. Okay, and if you don't understand, please ask a question, right? Because otherwise, it will be very difficult to conduct a workshop for 250 people. There are 250 people and hands on workshop. And I want you to, I want to stick to time. I want to stick to schedule. Because typically what happens if you do hands on, so many students are asking so many questions. You can never finish the topic in time. You can never complete the syllabus. Here we will show you how we will complete the syllabus. At the same time, it will be a hands on workshop. It will be a hands on workshop and the slow people will not affect the fast people. Fast learners, you will learn fast. Slow learners, you will not be affected. Don't worry about it. You will be given time. And if you can't finish, we will always say, do it overnight. We have taught you how to do it. You know how to do it. Do it yourself. You are a slow learner. You must be willing to spend a little more time if you want to come to the level of fast learners. Okay, there is no problem in that. They are fast learners because maybe they spend a lot of time earlier. Right? We will do that. Both fast learners and slow learners will be accommodated without getting affected. You will not get affected. Okay. That will become clear as we go. Right? So this is extremely important what I am going to present now. Please make a note of it and then ask me if you don't understand something. I will be happy to answer. Them. So let me maximize this. Use the downloaded videos. Okay, all of you must download the videos. After the uh, live talks are over, there will be some time for you to download and install if you have difficulty. So let me just show you. Okay, I have downloaded. I am using a Mac, so it may look slightly different. Uh, so use the downloaded videos. Download the zip file. Unzip it. It will create a folder called Spoken. Here is that Spoken, right? And locate within Spoken the file called index.html. See this index.html? That's it. Okay. Then what do you do? Open it with Chrome or Firefox. Do not open it with Internet Explorer. Okay. So what do you do? You say right click, open with Firefox. I have Firefox, so I can open it, right? Let's open it. I opened it. Then you were asked to watch three tutorials. These are the three tutorials. Side by side method to learn spoken tutorials, spoken tutorial forums, spoken tutorial supplementary material. It is possible that you have not listened to these tutorials. So I would want you to listen to them later on, maybe in the evening. Whenever you have time, please listen to these tutorials. These are extremely useful to you. But for now, I will briefly explain what these tutorials convey. You can quickly understand, right? Just listen to what I am saying. You will be okay. okay? Now, then select FOSS category. What is the FOSS category? Chem Collective Virtual Labs. Okay, because we created this offline version for you. In fact, I uh, noticed somebody saying I was asked to pay. No, you were not asked. You were asked to pay, but only if you didn't participate in the workshop. For all workshop participants, we are giving this offline version free of cost. You are given the free offline version free of cost. Please use it. Okay. Came Collective Virtual Labs, select language, English. If you have more than, uh, if you want to use Hindi or something, then you can generate it. It is, this facility is available to all subscription paying colleges. For all subscription paying colleges, I told you about 5,000 rupees per year. If you do that, then you can create the offline worship yourself. You will not be asked to pay, right? So anyway, I have selected the FOSS category. I have selected the language. And then I have to select the language, then click Submit. See the Submit button? Submit. Okay. So I have opened it. Then what happens next? Follow the side-by-side -side method. Where is the side-by-side -side method? 
See this here? It was explained here. But if you didn't see it, it's okay. I'll explain it now. Select a video to watch. So let's select a video to watch. Let's say preparation of standard solutions. Okay. So select the video to watch. So here is the video to watch. Shrink the size of the video. Okay. Shrink the size of the video. So you have it in half the screen. How does one shrink? Some people sometimes have difficulty. On the top, I have three buttons, right? Similarly, you have uh, three buttons on your browser also. It could be on the right hand corner, for example, top right hand corner, for example. Okay. But one of them will have a button with a square sign. Okay. You click that. Then handles will come. Handles like this will come. Then you can shrink it. Shrink it, take it to one side of the screen. Okay. Then on the other side, you open the software. Just like I have opened the PDF file, you open the software. Okay. I'm not opening the software now because of lack of time. I'm going to go a little fast. Open the software here. Open the video here. Then what do you do? Why do you do that? Because we are going to learn from here. We watch here, practice it here. Watch it, practice. Watch, practice. Right? It's going to have two benefits. What are the two benefits? One is it maintains the focus. Right? For example, what will happen is, supposing you maximize this. Let's say, let's say maximize it. Right? Which is what we people do. Maximize. Right? Now I want to go to the next screen. How do I do? I do a tab. Okay? By mistake, instead of pressing this Firefox, I go to Thunderbird. This is my mail server, right? Mail client. Okay. And I go there. Say, hey, this is an interesting uh, mail. Okay, maybe I'll start reading it. Okay. Maybe I'll reply to that. I have forgotten that I'm doing workshop. I am forgotten that I am learning from that. That is a focus. So your attention gets diverted if you do this maximization and do this control tab business, right? So what I will do is let me first uh, choose that. Let me let me not maximize it. Maximization is something I don't like, okay? Because especially in this where I want to follow this side by side method. The next one is it reduces the cognitive overload. Cognitive overload because you can see it, you can practice. In fact, I have the next slide on that, how we are going to use this, right? It reduces the cognitive overload, especially beginners have difficulty remembering the commands. Okay, they may put a semicolon in the place of comma, whatever, right? So it is very important to uh, not to have cognitive overload. Already they are at a stress right a lot of stress they are learning something new okay on top of it they have to remember it becomes very difficult it reduces the cognitive overload and how do you uh, 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 use this method you watch one command at a time and practice you watch one command at a time and practice you okay if okay what do you do you listen to a, a command pause the video try it on the software Right? Most of the time it will work because it is created for uh, self-learning. Then you go to the next command. But sometimes the command doesn't work because you made a mistake. So what do you do? You rewind, listen to it again and try. It will always work because it is created for self-learning. Right? So the side-by-side -side method for us is sacrosanct. Please use that. Shrink the video. If you have difficulty in shrinking the video, then somebody will help. Okay? Somebody will help. Somebody will tell you. You can even share the screen. Somebody will point out. Right? So, but you must do that. And then open the software, keep it on the side, and then listen to it, practice. Listen to it, practice. If you don't, if something doesn't work, rewind, listen to it, try again. It will always work. Okay. Then, so code file, you don't have to worry about. I'll skip this. Another extremely important thing is the forum. 
extremely important thing for you know answering questions imagine there are 250 people and everybody is trying how many people will have difficulties lots of people will have difficulties if the TAs have to answer all of them one by one you know to wait for a long time here through the forum I'm telling you you can get answers immediately to the forum of course you may want to use the online version if you have internet connection unlike videos they do not require much bandwidth by the way forum you can even access through your mobile phone okay so let me just show you how to do that so for that let me just uh, increase it a little bit let me go to the next uh, thing and go to spoken tutorial website spoken hyphen tutorial dot org right this is the website spoken hyphen tutorial dot org now in this you see this link called forums do you see that can anybody say see this forums yeah so let me click that okay now i am in the forums right and lots of questions already available let me see if i have logged in i have already logged in as kandan okay that's fine so now what you can do is uh, let's find out if there are questions on chem collective workshops right so let me see if i can search say let's say chem collective Okay, all the questions on Chem Collective are there. Okay, now, only thing is, um, see this, uh, it, you know, what happens, of course, if you choose it this way, it is fine, but it's always safer to click this lens next to that. So only Chem Collective comes. Now, Chem Collective has many tutorials. How many tutorials are there? 13 tutorials are there. So as a result, look at the number of questions. Right now there are only 20, but then if students, if uh, other people start asking questions, number of questions may increase. Then you might say, hey, I have difficulty in knowing whether there are questions in the tutorial that I'm watching. Okay. What is the tutorial? Supposing you say preparation of standard solution. Supposing you have a question on that. So click the lens next to that preparation, right? Then these are all the questions that have been asked, okay? And once again, there may be lots of questions in this topic. So you arrange them by minutes. You click this minutes, right? And all of them will be sorted in a chronological way. First one minute comes, then five minutes, then six minutes. If there is a two minute question asked at two minutes, that will come also. What do I mean by five minutes, six minutes and so on? I'll show you how to ask a question. How do I ask a question? Then first of all, you have to be logged in. Right? If you have not logged in, it will not. For example, let me log out. Log out. So let me log out. Okay? I have logged out, then I cannot ask questions. I can watch them. I can see the things. Right? I can see the things. So what do I do? So let me log in. So I have to say, give username, password. If I have not logged in, I have to register. If I have not logged in, I have to register. So it is possible that you may not have registered. You must register. Please register. Okay. And uh, uh, somebody will help you with uh, registration. So you must do that. You can do this at the time of installation also. I have logged in. I have said my login and password. So I log in. Okay. Then uh, questions are there. Um, now I have, I'm selecting open form because there are lots of questions, so I can explain it better. Or I can even explain it with the DWC. There are lots of questions, because we recently conducted a workshop. More than 120 people, they asked lots of questions. You can see that. In fact, every, every page has 20 questions. And there are 10 uh, pages. That means close to 200 questions. Then how do I find the questions in the tutorial that I am watching? I am watching at this point. For example, what is this? creating multiple reaction set. That's a tutorial in DWC. So what do I do? I click the lens next to that. 
So there are only two questions. So it is okay. But what if I have a question on rigorous, what is this rigorous distillation? Ask this, then there are lots of questions. Okay. Then you can see that these are not arranged properly. I mean, uh, it may be also in the second page, third page. I don't know whether the question I have is already answered. So what do I do? I sort it according to minutes. See this? Then what happens is all the questions are asked, arranged in a chronological fashion. Okay. Then I can open it and say, this is how I access it. But I can also ask questions. So let me ask a question now. Select a category. Here I will say Chem Collective Virtual Labs. See this? Use the pull down menu, go to Chem Collective Virtual Labs. Select a tutorial. Let's say we are talking about preparation of standard solutions. Okay. So let me ask a question. Supposing I am watching the tutorial at 3 minute 25 seconds, I have a question. 3 minute 25 seconds. So that means it comes between 3 and 4 minutes. I'll select that. 3 minutes 25 seconds. 3 minutes I have already selected. 25 seconds means it will come between 20 and 30 seconds. Right? I select that. Because I have a problem at that time of that video. At that time of the video, I have a question. So I have to give a title to that question. Title means not myself. I don't say I'm a PGT. I don't say I'm a professor. I don't say I'm a teacher. I'm a student. No, not your title. It's a title to the question that you are asking, right? So the sample, how to create a sample. Or I might even say how to create a standard solution. Okay, so uh, can you please explain how to create a standard solution, right? I put that. Oh, I have to press submit button. So I submitted. Okay, then what happens is that's the latest question I asked. My name is here, Kim Collective. Anybody can come and see. Okay. Now, supposing somebody has posted a question, and supposing you know the answer, okay, please post an answer. Thereby telling other people that you are knowledgeable about this. It is extremely important. I'll show you how. These are the things that that Amit. Uh, uh, that PGT did to get selected, right? Because you want to say other people should realize that, yes, I know. By the way, one of the things that you should also do is when you answer, be polite because this is available to everybody, accessible to everybody. You don't want to be impolite. You don't want to be rude, right? Remember that you are a teacher. Remember that you are a school teacher, college teacher, and there are, you, know, you may be a student. But doesn't matter. Please answer politely. Please don't make mistakes to the extent possible. Right? This is not like uh, your uh, WhatsApp kind of a thing. Quick language, short language. Don't do that. It takes a little bit of time and write it because many other people will use it. They may not know your abbreviations. Right? Now you can answer and you can submit the answer and then it goes on. Our TAs will be watching all the questions that are posted. And they will be answering immediately. So if 10 people have the same question, all 10 will get the answer. Only one has to ask the question. Right? So that is the benefit. That's how we are able to accommodate lots of people in one go. Right? Check forum for the previous discussion. You don't have to wait. You don't have to say 250 people, when will they answer me? Because you are asking the question on the forum. I am asking our team to mandate the use of forum. They will say, please post it on the forum. So at that time, if you have not registered, it will take time for you to get the answer. So you must register immediately. If you have difficulty in registering, our people will be able to help. Right? Check forum for previous discussion. 
Snegalata, uh, you may want to ask somebody from uh, uh, the creation team, maybe Nancy, to be available. And in case there are questions, they can help hmm, in registration. Typically, students, it should work, but sometimes it goes into the it goes into spam folder and you know things like that. Students are not able to uh, locate the uh, participants are not able to locate. Immediate answers, no need to wait. Even if the class is large, this discussion will be useful to other people, right? Don't you want to help others? And if lots of question and answers are there, you can use the same forum for your own uh, contact of the workshop. You, you have the offline the material, use that to contact workshop for your students, for your colleagues, for schools in the nearby area. Feel free to do that, right? But more importantly, it is useful for recognition for potential employers. Supposing you say, you know, you apply to a chemistry lab for a job and you say that I know Chem Collective Labs, Chem Collective Workshop, Chem Collective Labs, I, con I attended a workshop. Then they ask, how do I know that you know all these things? Then you can say, go to the forum. I have answered so many questions. They can go through this. If they are serious about you, they will go through this, right? You might even apply for uh, higher studies. Once again, the same thing, right? To get project funding, to get awards, etc. Like I told you about uh, uh, the award that uh, PGT got, right? So it may be very useful for you to participate in this. Ask your questions. It's okay. Everybody has questions. Beginners have all of you are learning. In fact, you can even say, look, look where I started. I was at that level. I didn't know anything. I was asking some simple questions. But towards the end, look at this. I know so much. I, I have answered so many questions. There's nothing wrong in learning. Nothing wrong in be, being a beginner. By all means, please post your question. Doesn't matter. But you get better. With time, you get better. And they will say, wow, you have community orientation. You want to help other people, right? OK, I'm going to ask some research questions quickly. Uh, these are the things that we are interested in. We believe that from all these points, viewpoints, it is going to be extremely useful the way we are conducting the workshop. Okay, so now I can maximize. For example, I would like to ask, you know, doing this workshop versus doing some other workshop because you might have learned some other software, like a three-day workshop you have gone through. And then we would want you to compare. After this workshop, we will ask you, do you feel confident in exploring other aspects of Chem Collective Labs? Do you feel confident to contribute to the promotion of this software through additional content creation? For example, Dr. Sneglata will explain to you how you can contribute. Right? So we'll ask you this question at the end of three days. Do you feel confident to contribute? Okay. Then we will ask you this question. Do you feel confident to conduct a similar workshop with or without additional help? U using our method versus other any other method. Because you might have undergone some other workshop for some other software. Three-day workshop. And then we will ask you, we have followed a particular method, they have followed a particular method. Do you feel confident in our method versus their method? Okay. Of course, if you haven't done any other workshop, then it is okay. You don't have to worry about it. Right? Can you conduct such a hands-on workshop to students not fluent in English using our material, using somebody else's material? Can you conduct such a hands-on workshop for a large number of people? Hands-on workshop. Mind you, hands-on workshop. Right? For 250 people without affecting the flow and sticking to the schedule. Our schedule will be followed. Mind you. Our schedule will be followed. As I told you, slow learners, no problem. You learn at home, spend a little more time. Fast learners, you will not get frustrated because we will be maintaining the schedule. Right? Everybody is accommodated, even though there are 250 people. Can you conduct such a workshop with a few TAs? We will have only four or five TAs. They will be answering question after answer, question one after another. Okay. This is where, uh, this is where I'm going to stop. And uh, I'm going to stop here. Are there any questions? If there are questions, uh, let me see. Chat, how to register. 
okay registration is there any other question i should answer okay registration our people will help if there are any other questions we'll be happy to help and then um, from Meenakshi Sriram, in order to ask question on forum, I have to log in again, right? Even though I'm going through my account only. So uh, we seem to have a small, uh, I don't know why it is not working, but on the forum page, you have to log in. On the forum page, once you log in, that works. I think it is the same registration login, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, just uh, try that once. You might have to log in. Okay. So did I answer that? Yeah. Okay. Are there any other questions? Because if we follow the discipline, you will see that we will go very smoothly. Everybody is accommodated, whether fast, lo fast learner or slow learner. And uh, we will stick to the schedule. We will cover the syllabus. Okay. That's also extremely important. Because you come here, take three days off because you are going to learn. And we are committed to uh, transfer all that know-how to you. Not only that, we want you to raise the level so that you can actually start contributing. In fact, we want every one of you uh, to um, try various things to improve these kind of learning in your school, neighborhood, for your students, disadvantaged students. Uh, and so on and so forth through your um, uh, maybe some of you are from DAV schools and you say that we will do it for all DAV, all uh, AMB, all Kindri Vidyalaya schools, things like that. We want, we are quite, uh, uh, you know, uh, keen that uh, that will happen. So, uh, Snehalata, so is it okay? So can I leave now? Yes, sir. That was uh, very informative.